Welcome back, folks. It is I, your illustrious host, Lord Zedek Tigrarius Haruk. And, as always, it is wonderful to see you all again, and to save for all time. Or for the first time, if you're just tuning in. So, last time we met uh, Sir Ancient Droid over here, who told us of Nemo's death because he could not open this door, which we need to go to this door, and to this door in order to open. So we're going to go to the closer door. What up, bitch? Let's make this quick. You asked for this. Down you go. You shall fall. Let's go. How'd you like that? Oh boy, attempt to slice the ancient system. Talk to the computer. Press a button. Many buttons. Kick it! So we'll go here. Who 
If the droid is correct, then we must complete the tasks in the proving grounds to the east. Cool. Then you mind telling me what we're supposed to be doing? Because let's see here. Killed the droid. Let's see here. Cho give it, give it like a, give it the choices. Barren, desert, and and volcanic don't seem to be life-giving lands. Talk to the computer. Insert data pad. Death-giving. Desert, volcanic, barren. Hello. must be what Revan and Malik found when they entered this temple. <laughs> this must be where their journey down the dark side began. Uh, what are you talking about? This is a, a map. Some sort of intergalactic navigational chart. Revan and Malik must have used this to lead them to the Starforge. We could use this map to follow their path and find the Starforge ourselves. But we must be wary. They may have laid traps or concealed what they found. So what is the Star Forge exactly? I, I don't know, but Revan and Malak were very interested in finding it. It must be a tool of some type, or maybe a weapon. Perhaps the Council can tell us more, but I think this map might be the key to finding the Star Forge, whatever it is. See this world here? This looks like Korriban, a Sith world. And if that's Korriban, then this is Kashek, and Tatooine, and his Manan. But there are pieces missing. Incomplete hyperspace coordinates, corrupted data, and there doesn't seem to be anything indicating where the Star Forge itself might be. <laughs> Perhaps these worlds have clues. I was thinking that too. This map can't take us to the Star Forge, but I know that Revan and Malik visited Korriban at least once. Perhaps they discovered something more there. They may have found something on each of the other worlds that completed this map. Maybe if we find all the pieces, they'll lead us to the Star Forge some way to destroy it. That sounds like quite a supposition. What if you're wrong? What if I'm right? We can't ignore this. Finding the Starforge might very well be the key to defeating the Sith. We must inform the Council of what we've discovered. They must decide our next course of action, though I suspect our task has only just begun. That was received. All right. Boop. 
Is that all in here? Really? Huh. Well then. How we going now? Don't forget to lock up on our way out, and uh, yeah, see you later. This way. Let's go ahead and go kill ourselves a Mandalorian. for us though. Far too much trouble for a mere Jedi. I will add your head to those of the other Jedi I have killed and take yet another lightsaber for my own. Now you will know why the Mandalorians are feared. Yeah, no offense, but I've killed. <laughs> Time to rumble! What can I do? Uh -huh. Run away! Yes, I'm being very petty.
Well then. Uh. Fine then, let's grind. Twenty-five more. Bastila, I was wondering something. How did those Vulcans manage to capture a famous Jedi like you? Well, were you knocked out when your escape pod crashed? N no, I was conscious. But my Force powers were exhausted from using my battle meditation in the battle for the Ender Spire. Without my help, you might have never gotten off the ship alive. Fair enough, but... I've seen you Jedi in action. There's there's no way those thugs could have stood a chance against your lightsaber. My lightsaber was misplaced. I couldn't find it after the crash. I looked everywhere in that pod. The Vulcas came and overwhelmed me even as I was searching for my weapon. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. You lost your lightsaber? Well, <laughs> I mean, isn't that a violation of some kind of Jedi code or something? Maybe... maybe losing lightsabers is a side effect of her battle meditation. This is no laughing matter. During the crash, my lightsaber must have... It, it must have fallen from my belt and rolled under my seat. The Vulcans probably found it there when they searched the wreckage. Hey, 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 don't get mad. I'm sorry. It's just funny to think of a legendary Jedi losing her lightsaber. Take my advice. This is one detail you might want to keep out of the history texts. I hardly consider myself a legend, Karth. Though I will consider your advice when I relate these events to the Jedi Council. There is no need for them to know every detail of what transpired. Oh boy. You know what, we'll use that to explain away why her lightsaber was glitched away. It was... It was misplaced. In the code. How'd you like that? Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. Ah, uh, I will. And seriously, just like, haha, we are going to rub it within your face.
Maybe easier if uh, Basil had a. Oh, god damn. Frickin' lightsaber, but no! How'd you like that? She had to misplace the damn thing. Hmm. Ooh, a shiny foil. So a master of these crushing laced weapons are given to master blades who survive no less than ten lightsaber wielding warriors in combat. Whew. Anything fun? Nope. So we're gonna go ahead and buy this. Yes, what's on your mind? You've been very quiet lately. Have I been quiet? Suppose I have. I guess I just don't like being left out of the loop. Left out of the loop? I don't understand. Left out of the loop, you know, not being told anything strung along. It's really starting to irritate me. For one thing, I want to know what the Jedi Council said to you. They pulled you in there and refused to tell me a thing about it. That is none of your concern, Karth. And you would do well to leave the matter be. I respect you, Bastila, but you've been as closed-mouthed as the rest of the Council. If you won't talk to me, then maybe somebody else will. Hmm. They thought it was more important that I help find the star maps than stay. And why is that? You were a great help on Terrace. But why would they keep you with us? Don't they... don't they have to train you? I've done pretty well so far. That is completely beside the point. The Jedi encouraged you to stay with us, and I don't believe the reasons they gave. You're a neophyte Padawan who's been saddled with the responsibility of tracking down these star maps. Why? That's not normal. I am not trying to provoke you or to imply that you're somehow responsible for the Jedi Council, but... Give me a hand here. There has to be a reason. I'm here and that's going to change. Well, are you saying I'm not needed? No, I don't... I didn't mean that you weren't wanted or that I want to go. It's just... Damn it. Well, I'll tell you this much. I'm not going to wait around until I'm betrayed again. I am not going to betray you. I am not Saul. Yeah, we'll just see about that, won't we? Look, I didn't mean it that way. I want to get to Saul, not... No, no, forget it. It just seems that all I can do is insult you, isn't it? Just forget I said anything. Let's, let's just get on with what we were doing. Oh, come on, battle princess. You know you want to talk to... Oh, yeah. 
Now you see, that's what I'm talking about. Ah, you have returned, young Padawan. Have you discovered what it was that Revan and Malak sought in those ruins? We found an incomplete star map and mention of something called a Star Forge. This news of a Star Forge is disturbing. Action is required, but we must not do so in haste. We must discuss recent events in light of this new information. We should consult the Jedi Archives to see if there's any mention of the Star Forge and what it might do. We must learn why Revan and Malak sought it out. Return to your ship with Bastila, and we will summon you when we are done. Padawan, you have done well in discovering the star map hidden within the ancient ruins. But there is more you must do in the battle against Malak and the Sith. We Jedi no victory over the Sith will not come through martial might. The Council has a mission for you, Padawan. I've consulted our vast archives in an effort to discover the nature of this Star Forge, but all my efforts have been in vain. Still, the Council are in agreement. The Star Forge must be found. Revan and Malak sought it out when they began their tragic fall. The Star Forge is surely a powerful tool of the dark side. The star map in the ruins showed you four planets, but it was incomplete. It did not show the location of the Star Forge itself. We believe there may be similar star maps on other planets. Each star map is likely a small piece of a larger puzzle. Find the star maps on Kashyyyk, Tatooine, Manan, and Korriban, and we believe they will lead you to the Star Forge. All right. Sounds like a suicide mission. Ever brash, ever disrespectful, this is what we have pinned our hopes on? Peace, Brook. We have discussed this. There is no other choice. The Jedi numbers have been ravaged by this war. By defections to Malak's cause, and by Sith assassins. But we realize the importance of this mission. Yet if we send a company of Jedi Knights with you, we would surely draw the full attention of Malak and the Sith, dooming your efforts to failure. Am I to undertake the task alone? Secrecy is our best defense against the Sith. But it would be foolish to send you on this quest without someone to aid you, young Padawan. Bastila will accompany you, for there is a powerful connection between you two. A connection that might be the key to unraveling the mysteries uncovered by Revan. And Juhani has also asked to accompany you. After long deliberation, we have granted her request. Jahani nearly fell to the dark side. Perhaps her presence will serve as a reminder to you of the dangers of that path. There are others I want to join me. Of course, those who aided you on Taris will also come. They possess skills you may find useful in your quest. Remember that secrecy and discretion are paramount to your success. You will not be able to hide the fact that you are a Jedi, nor should you. But the true nature of your mission must not reach Malak's ears. You may return here at any time. Dantooine will be a sanctuary for you, a safe haven. Here you can find supplies and whatever advice or other aid we may give you. Thank you, Discount Yoda. Uh, when should I leave? You can leave whenever you wish. The sooner the better. The longer you wait, the stronger Malak becomes. But first, a warning, young Padawan. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Star Forge could lead you down an all too familiar path. The fate of the galaxy is in your hands, young Padawan. We pray you are up to the challenge. May the Force be with you. Oh boy. They must have already sent her the ship. Let's see here. Yeah, it was this one. Ta 
Mogę się aponka bolała na... I don't think the council would want me to speak openly of it. Tong hate wom jiji jump lumpa. Nita poe tikito. Dolpa da bongwaleo gondona chu. Ka chikun ita haldonga. I king kuno ba mulera chikun. What are you talking about? Takum justak miki grabble mogo. Kachichu ita bodunga. Dolba bank waleo ganda. Runda di hotonga kun hunka bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tung king ba nunotek. Tuk ni. Hmm. What makes this creature so dangerous? Ka chi kun ita hotonga. I king kuno ba mule ra chi kun. Slimo. Muchishak pa khat. Kiye no no dama paole rachikun. Ronda di hotonga kun hanka bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule. Sounds like they're extinct then. Takum ju stak miki grabble mogo. Kachichu ita bodunga. Dolba bank wale oganda naru chuchut. Tong hait wam jiji jum lumpa. Nita poe tikitu. Dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chuchut. Ka chi chu i... The Great Hunt wants that. Ka chi kun i da haldonga. I king kuno ba mule ra chi kun. Slimo po dona rundi haldonga ku hunka. Ui i da nan dayata. Wata yuma wama huhu nandetek. Ha shatung ni patoga. Runda di hotonga kun hanka bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule. What cost? Ka chi kun ita hotonga. I king kuno ba mule ra chi kun. Wi ita nan dayata. Wata yuma wama huhu nandetek. Runda di hotonga kun hanka bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tung king. How they going now? Jidu ba the wana nidi ba. So, Korriban would probably be a hot spot. And of course the battle princess wants to talk. How can I help? Look like something's bothering you. No, not bothering me. Not exactly. I've been thinking about what the Jedi Council said about the two of us. There is a bond between us. I do not dispute that. I can feel it, as I'm sure you can. The nature of that bond and its effect on our mission remain in question. I think you're interested in more than just the bond between us. Please. I'm a Jedi. Such feelings, such attractions are, well, they're beneath me, quite frankly. I admit, I find you intriguing. I, I mean, I find your command of the Force intriguing, but my interest in you is purely academic. Surely you can understand why. Our fates are strongly connected. So connected that a literal bond has been forged between us. I saw your service records when you were transferred aboard the Ender Spire, but nothing beyond that. I know very little about you. I'd like to ask you some questions, given our relationship. Our relationship? Is this some kind of clumsy come on? I was referring to the bond we share. <laughs> the one the Jedi Council spoke of. If I was actually interested in you, rest assured I could come up with a much better approach than this. Oh, guess I touched a nerve. Touched a nerve? No. Getting on my nerves, most definitely. I suppose this is what you men consider being witty. Now, are you going to answer my questions, or would you rather just keep annoying me? Tempting! Okay, I'll answer some questions. Don't worry. These are simple questions. Nothing too intrusive. First, what kind of background do you have? I was a scout. The flea recruited me for my skills. Good. On which planet were you born? Duralia? 
It's in a remote system. Why? Excellent. Your current age is? Three thousand and twelve. Healthy living, you know. I see you intend to be childish about this. I guess I won't get... I suppose I'll just have to speak to you again later. Hopefully you'll behave a little less like a little boy and a little more like a... like a man. <laughs> hey, they gave me the option. I had to. 3,012. Healthy living, you know? Oh. Johanny. I feel I must apologize for the way I acted towards you before in the grove. It was wrong of me. Uh, you thought the dark side had consumed you. It is nothing. I am sorry for attacking you. I am sorry for thinking you would only try to kill me. I hope that by helping you in your task, I may redeem myself in your eyes and in my own. Do not worry. I forgive you. Jeez, not the first time someone's tried to kill me. Thank you. It is most reassuring to know that you can forgive me, even though I tried to take your life. I can only hope that, in our time journeying together, I will succeed. How may I be of a sit- Eh. Of course. I want to talk to everyone. There is something I do need to take care of before I leave. I'll go ahead and take you and... You know what? Let's add you. Let's see what you can do. Yes? You know, that actually fits you. What? That actually fits your color scheme. I wish I could find something better than this. Or, you know, armored robes. All oh, right, I still need to find her lightsaber. Ugh. She's going to kick my ass. Closer. All right, then. Yeah. <laughs> 
This is the best I can do. Alright folks, I'm going to go ahead and call that an episode there for today. You all have a wonderful evening, and as always, I've been your illustrious host, Lord Serik Tigrelius Haru. Now remember, I love you all. Good night!